Zephyr Teachout is running for New York State Attorney General. Uh, she's on the line right now. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be on. How are you? Wonderful. So um, I have to tell you, uh, so tomorrow's a big day, obviously, Democratic primary, and there's a host of candidates running for attorney general. Uh, why should voters who are uh, voting in tomorrow's Democratic primary choose you when they cast their vote tomorrow? Well, I am an anti-corruption expert. I have spent my life fighting corruption and I think a lot of voters know we have a real corruption crisis right now. Yeah. Uh, both at the, you know, at the federal level, we have a president who's taking foreign government money in violation of the Constitution. You're not allowed to be a federal officer and take foreign government money. Uh, an administration that is not following uh, our federal laws. And then here in New York, we have ongoing corruption scandals. And I'm, I'm independent. Um, I'm not tied to Andrew Cuomo. I'm not tied to the political party bosses. Um, and all that's also important for taking on, you know, the real things that people are facing with high, high drug prices, yeah, you know, just yeah. out of control drug prices. So I'm happy to have the endorsement of the New York Times, the Buffalo News, the Daily News, the Nation, newspapers that don't agree with each other on anything. Yeah. But, uh, but they agree. they agree that we need a truly independent attorney general who's a, a corruption buster do you uh, uh you obviously supported uh, bernie sanders and he is supporting you in, in in this race do you support um cynthia nixon i i do um you know i hope folks got a chance to see her debate um and thank you for mentioning the the bernie sanders endorsement uh okay. sanders just endorsed was it yesterday yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yes, time. You know, when you're campaigning, the last few days, uh, every I'm sure day they, feels they <laughs> blend like up. a while. But but one of the big reasons is that I am um, uh, I don't take corporate money, and I don't take corporate PAC money, and uh, you know Sanders has really been just calling out how billionaires have taken over our elections, and I'm and I'm actually the only candidate of the four candidates that isn't taking corporate PAC money, and now that's always inappropriate, but. But when it comes to being the attorney general, think about it. The job is investigating, you know, big pharmaceutical companies right. or investigating big cable companies um, or investigating Wall Street. And you don't, it's just, there's a deep conflict if you're taking money from the very companies that you are supposed to be investigating. Well, I mean, the office itself that you're running for has had its plenty of investigations uh, right um, right here in uh, in New York and all the corruption surrounding the surrounding the governor and uh, uh, I, I can't imagine the governor uh, would be looking forward to you a former opponent becoming attorney general well I'm clearly the, I'm clearly the most independent uh, and the most outspoken about the problems of corruption in the um, in the executive branch I mean this last week we saw I don't know if your listeners saw, but there was a story about uh, the Tappanzi Bridge yes. um, being opened, uh, looks like for political reasons instead of safety reasons. Um, there was a story about using the uh, state-funded, taxpayer-funded um, helicopter yeah. to fly around hundreds of times. Now, there are four candidates for attorney general. These are both troubling. They yeah. may not be illegal, but, but part of the job of the attorney general is to look into ethical violations, not just illegal violations. And I'm the only one who's saying, hey, wait a second. Um, you know, I'm a Democrat. I'm a progressive Democrat, but I'm not tied to the executive branch, and I'll, I'll be a lawyer for the people. So let's look All into right. these things and find out, find out what's going on. One of the first things you said was the Trump foreign money. Uh, yeah. Are you, will yeah. you be an AG who focuses on national issues or, or New York State stuff? You know, all of these are so connected, and there, a lot of them are connected to corruption and big money. So when I look at, you know, one thing that we're really facing in uh, New York State is big money in politics. A lot of that comes out of New York City-based real estate companies that have an outsized role in New York politics, not just in New York City, but around the state, they, they spend money in every state Senate race, basically every, you know, all, all around the state. And when I look at Donald Trump, I see somebody who comes out of New York City real estate. Um, so being willing, it's a, it's a big, talented office. There's 700 credible lawyers there. And the key is, one, being independent. 
Two, not taking corporate money. And three, being willing to really take on new challenges that we haven't faced before. You know, one of the big challenges that I see coming from the, the federal government is that we have a um, – uh, an administration that is just r- rolling back regulations left and right. That means we don't have a federal government that we can trust to protect basic consumer rights. And one of the key jobs, your listeners may not know this, of the Attorney General's office is protecting just basic consumer rights when big banks rip you off. Um, and uh, we're going to have to use, or or taking on big fossil fuel companies, which is something you and I have talked about yeah. before. Um <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I, 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 I actually have to run. I know you probably have to run, but I'm well, so delighted to be on your show again and to be able to have a chance to talk to your to your listeners. Good luck tomorrow, uh, Zephyr Teach Out. Thanks for taking the time, and we uh, it's not your first time here, so we appreciate that. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you so thanks. much. And uh, get out there and vote. Big okay. day tomorrow. Thanks. thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Um, interesting. And and think about it. it. Do you remember when Schneiderman was was had to resign? It was like four or five months ago. Yeah, it was in May. Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, it, it, wow. all of this stuff just seems so. Uh, just, well, I, I feel like it happened. What it was that five years ago that that happened? No, it was <laughs> yeah. it was May. It was May on sex and abuse of power and all this ridiculousness. And meanwhile, this is the guy that's uh, that's pouncing on everybody else for doing just that. Rings of Elliot Spitzer a little bit. Got a break. Hold on tight. Coming back at WIBX.